welcome to Peptides 101. This is our informational series about peptides and how they're used therapeutically. We're going to cover two things today. What are peptides and what are general principles about the use of therapeutic peptides? So peptides are short chains of amino acids. Up to about 50 amino acids in a sequence that are bonded together is considered a peptide. More than 50 is a polypeptide. More than 100 is generally considered a protein. There are over 7,000 individual peptides that have been identified in the human body, and they perform various functions, usually as signaling molecules to help regulate specific processes. So because of this, these can be targets for therapy to help treat disease or to optimize function or achieve desired effects in the body. So principles of their use. One, therapeutic peptides generally are something that is naturally occurring or it's a molecule that is a very slight manipulation of a naturally occurring peptide. Because of this, they're generally pretty well tolerated and they usually can be used for very specific effects while minimizing systemic impact. Two, We've got good basic science studies on these. We've got a lot of animal studies on these and a fair amount of data about human use. But if you're looking for randomized controlled trials on these particular peptides or therapeutic use of them over the last 20 or 30 years, peptides aren't your game. Move on to something else. This is a new and emerging science. We'll get more and more data on these over time, but right now, You've got to go with what science is there and try to make good decisions. Three, peptides focus on very specific effects. We're usually trying to improve cellular metabolism or cellular function to actually increase the lifespan of specific cells, or we're using them to drive a particular process such as healing or growth. Four, always want to use these under professional supervision. Work with somebody that can advise you and follow you while you're using these so that you're doing it safely and getting the desired effects. If you want to find out more about individual peptides, we're going to have more videos in this series, so follow us and stay tuned.